Hey you, and welcome back to my channel for another design video in Animal Crossing New Horizons. As for today's part, it will be more of a building part since I did not manage to finish it all in time. This is because I finally found my dream villager, Judy, so this meant I had to rearrange some homes on my island to make extra room for her. This also includes removing Pico's sand garden and moving Diana's home so she can become Judy's neighbor. So let's get straight to it. So as mentioned, I will no longer have the sandy area of Pico on my island. I have already removed all of it, which was kind of sad, but it was necessary. She still lives on my island for now but I will kick her out soon with blue bears amiibo I think so if you want to have Pico or if you have been looking for her and you are looking at this video within a few days after it got posted you still can let me know if you want to take her I'm not really sure when I will kick her out she's not in my way right now but I do think I want blue bear on my island so I can uh, have my street still look the same as I did in one of my first uh, garden ID videos. Last week, Whitney actually wanted to leave, so I decided to let her go since I actually have her amiibo as well, but I think I want to change her up with Blueberry. But while she voluntarily wanted to leave, I thought I could do a villager hunt, and after about 380 Nookmal tickets and 3 days, I actually found my dreamy, which is Judy. And since I finally found her, that was kind of definitely worth it for all the Nookmal tickets. I really wanted to look for her myself instead of buying her. And yeah, <laughs> it took a while, but she's finally here. And now that she is here, that meant I had to rearrange some homes on my island. Since I did definitely want Blue Bear or Whitney on my island, it meant I had to let someone else go. And in it ended up being Pico. I have had Pico on my island for the longest time and it will be really sad to see her go but I wasn't really feeling the zen garden feel on my island. I really wanted to keep the woodsy feel and yeah. This just meant that I let her go and instead let Eric stay on my island. When I found Eric I was actually looking for Judy but I was almost out of tickets so I just kind of compromised on him and he really started growing on me so I didn't want hi him to leave either. So yeah, no more Zen Garden and soon no more Pico. As for now, this is the area that I will be working with. Um, I have already m m planned out a bit because I really want to have some decent gardens for all my homes and I decided to just let my stone pot continue up here. I was first planning to just make it a woodsy area for Judy and Diana, but it wasn't working out. I ran out of place very fast. And as for Pico, uh, I <laughs> did really want to have a little memory memorial place for her since she was the first villager that gave me her picture and it really made me sad that I let her go after that. Or I'm gonna let her go. The so here in the back, I actually made this little secret pot. On the side here is going to be my rock garden, but I needed a place to grow a couple more flowers. So instead, it's a breeding area for right now. But I'm hoping some more rocks will spawn there soon, since it is a bit bigger than the last time. And if you follow this little pot, we have this tiny little section here. And this is the section that I want to begin with. It's just a little excuse to still have two bamboo uh, trees on my island. And to place a couple of bamboo items and these um, pagoda items from Gulliver. Oh, one step forward. Because those really fitted nicely in here and I really missed having them on my island. So yeah, I think this is a nice excuse to still be able to place them. So for this area I just have these two towers. One did place a bit wrong, a bit behind. And I'm going to also use this as an excuse to plant all my gold roses and a couple of the black ones. So my plan was just to place three of them here. Then one black 
in the middle and on each side it's gonna be black and then filled up with gold and one more black here I think yeah so that's kind of the idea with the golden flowers just to have yeah some of different place to still have them because I don't really like the roses or I like the roses but just not the gold ones and the black ones they just don't fit with my team so to have this little corner to sp still be able to pick pick some of the gold roses whenever needed is kind of nice and let me just quickly turn or put down some of the items that I was planning to have here so you can have more of a feeling on how I want to memorize Pico so here are the items that I was thinking of and by the way I do really hope the waterfalls aren't too loud for you uh, <laughs> this place quite a bunch in this area but I really love how they look and they kind of give some height to the area without just looking like a plain block of stone <laughs> and mountain but yeah as for the items I did use these bamboo spheres that I'm gonna rotate in a couple of different uh, ways just to make it less uh, less uh, copied but I just used these bamboo spheres the bamboo candles the bamboo floor lamps and one Oh, what was this one called? It's the Bambi Bamboo <laughs> Shoot Lamp. Just to give some, give some nice lighting in at night and just to have some really nice uh, colored bamboo items. I don't know, I really like these ones. And then of course the last item that is missing is of course Pico's photo. So now <laughs> we have a little you know, memorable section just to remember her friendship by and you can just stand her and pray for her, I don't know <laughs> it's a bit of a, a little hidden easter egg I think just to have still the tiny little sand feel but not the entire big garden that I had made for her and by the way if you didn't see my video where I made her area then I will of course link that video down below for you so you can check out how her garden used to look. It was quite nice and I really liked how it turned out but it was too much of a big chunk of my island that was going to the zen style and I did really didn't want it anymore. So yeah, let's go start working on uh, Judy and Diana's area. So I also forgot to mention this little pathway. I have mentioned the rock uh, pattern before or the stepping stone pattern and I just placed a couple of random ones with some few reeds here and there just to kind of make it a bit of a more hidden feel especially when the reeds start growing in I do think it will look quite, quite great as for the path to the house, it is a bit tight with my house but I really didn't want to remove the fence in the back so it's just has to go like this and in this area I just it became so much flat of a service towards the mountain that I made for Diana's home that I chose to make this little waterfall area I placed my classic weeds on top which means the normal weeds and what I see as weeds as well are the white cosmos and the green mums in front of here I just placed two white garden lanterns to again give it some lighting in the night I don't have the street lamps in white uh, or at least I didn't have any one left that I could use so I just chose the small ones and then there are two white uh, plant floaters or floating planters I always forget what they are called I do think I want to rotate them a bit just again to not look that similar to each other and in the middle is just a little log bench to I don't know give some more seating options I've made them in the white Berg uh, color swatch as well so the next thing I will be doing is probably fill up this forest area I want to place some more stepping stones I have already placed the moon in the back here I'm hoping that when I place Judy's home uh, on this piece here the, the brown uh, custom pr print that I used here and in this area are just to 
remind me where I want to place the homes, but I'm still hoping the moon will be slightly visible in the back of Judy's home. This will be Judy's garden and the other one is of course Diana's, but in between the trees I still want to use a couple of stepping stones and weeds with the white cosmos and the green mums. And also this time around I actually played a bit around with shrinking trees. So this tree is three days old and I placed a little uh, peach in the back of it so it wouldn't grow any further. And I did the same with this tiny one and these two here. So in this case you can still see the little one but or the little tree, fruit tree, but <laughs> I didn't really think it mattered too much. And I just filled the area up with some bushes and uh, my way of, I don't know, dividing the weeds. Again, weeds, green mums and white cosmos. So yeah, I will fill up the forest first and maybe this area as well. And then I will be right back to you. Okay, so I fixed the forest area. Uh, I also placed this little fountain with all the pink hyacinths, pink mums and white tulips. I have been using some of the small border pieces near the beach. I've been placing pink and white flowers so I kind of wanted to uh, or at least I've been putting those flowers at the right side of my island. I'm not sure if they're gonna go around all the beaches but for now they are the closest. You can see them a bit peeking through uh, in the top right corner. So to kind of copy that a bit, I used these three flowers to kind of uh, match it with that. And I really wanted to use that fountain at least one more time on my island. I have used it on one other spot that I have no, not showed off yet, but still I love having it here as well. And I also moved Diana's pear tree. And for the forest, as you can see, I kind of just filled it up with the same stepping stones that I showed you uh, towards uh, Pico's memorial place. I again used those white cosmoses and the green mums. I also placed a couple of other items like one flat garden rock which is a DIY and the normal garden rock which I placed here and one in the back. So I simply just filled it up without you know using only weeds because then it might be a bit overgrown when the weeds start uh, growing. As for right now, the weeds are still kind of small, but I do think it will look a lot more prettier when they do start to grow a bit more. And yes, that's just how I filled it all up, kind of. And try to kind of hide these small uh, root trees that I have hiding, uh, or that I'm hiding behind the smaller trees to keep them small as well. So yeah, as for right now, I was planning to do the fencing around Judy's home and just move her house so I will be back to you when I did that, so we can just furnish her garden at, after it. Yeah. And here is Judy's home in the right place. I also used uh, or placed a fence around. I used the bamboo fencing, which I don't really like to place directly on grass. And that's kind of why I placed it on the terracotta tiles, uh, those are the in-game uh, path thing. And I also use some dark dirt that I will be planting a couple of flowers on. And then of course I reuse this uh, light wooden deck uh, tile or whatever I'm supposed to call it. It's a custom design that is already linked down below. But as for Judy's home, I decided to go with only hyacinth flowers in pink, blue and purple. I kind of thought they fitted her. She's kind of a galaxy themed little cub. So yeah, I really do like these color swatches for her. And I of course also have my classic white garden lanterns. I have been placing these in uh, almost every garden in either white or black. Mostly white I think. I do believe Eric got the black ones maybe but for this area I'm gonna go with white again just because it fits her home just a li little bit better. I'm also very happy to see that the moon is still poking through a tiny bit behind her house. Uh, since she is a galaxy kind of cub I really do like to 
did like to use it there. I used it in Pico's garden to peek through uh, behind the pagodi towers, but still, I still wanted to have a place for it on my island, and I do think it kind of looks great behind or in the back there. As for her garden, I of course uh, have the same tiny library as I have been using on all the other gardens. I do think I'm gonna place it on the same side as I usually do, but I do think uh, the garbage can that I also always place with my homes, I'm kind of gonna hide in this corner here, I think. Yeah. I will see if it still fits when Diana's home is in place as well, but for now I'm just gonna paste it over there. And then of course for her garden, I made all the uh, crescent moon and the nova light and those items. I do believe I want this to face... Let's see... No, I'm gonna try to face it this way first. Oh, not three. And table the moon chair first, and I want this one to be right there. Uh, it was in the right spot, I think. Because I want to, the rotten end table to be next to it, but not all the way under the tree. And this one is going to have one nova light on it. And I'm going to place... You know what? I'm going to turn these around. And now I'm kind of indecisive, but that's kind of what happens with, when I build or try to design stuff live. But I'm going to place it this way around. And then the, the table. Yep. With the Nova Light. Or with the blue Nova Light. Again, I chose these colors because Julian herself is kind of a blue, purple and pink little cub. So I... Reuse those colors and her inside as well is uh, In the same color. She is actually home so we can go take a peek But she has maybe a bit more yellow in her home, but still the pink and the blues and uh, yeah Here are her colors. So in case you were wondering this is little Judy I gave her a halo ring, but she never wanted to wear it unfortunately but basing it off those colors, I'm not going to use the yellow and yeah, I'm not going to use any bright colors, just the soft pastel tones and I do think these kind of symbolize her well. And for a little seating area, I'm going to place a cushion. This is one, one with a, a print from the Sab uh, Able Sisters on it and I'm going to combine it with this uh, iron wood chair even though i'm gonna use it as a little table and one more cushion of course i don't think judy can or she can reach it now but i want to place a couple more items uh, first is the mom's tea cozy and i do believe i want to have that side but also i wanted to place one little more plant the fan palm and this kind of blocks that pillow now I and other players can still reach it by just uh, slouching through here and sit on it. Oh, that wasn't really as planned. But I don't think Judy can do that, but Judy can still sit on the other pillow. So yes, yeah, she still has some nice uh, use of her garden and she can of course... Oh no, you can sit on that one. Okay, then these plans are kind of cancelled. <laughs> I mean, I do need to be able to sit on... Uh, oh, I think the sound just disappeared. One moment, please. Of course, my headset had to die on me, so that meant, of course, the in-game music disappeared. I'm sorry for that. Of course, this chair also didn't want to come the right way anymore, so let's see if I can fix it. But I kind of already forgot what I was about to say, but I of course do need to make this chair usable because I'm of course hoping Judy will, will use it in a future <laughs> time. I mean, she's inside now, so I'm not sure she's gonna come outside. But this does mean that I can place the fan palm a bit more back. So I'm still not gonna push it all the way in the corner just to... I don't know, make a bit of a difference. I like to play around a bit with where I play stuff. Now this 
does kind of mean that Judy can reach there as well. Oh my god, this is more <laughs> harder than I thought it would be. Um, I don't think there's much more I can change about it. But for now I'm just gonna keep it like that, I think. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna keep it for this like now. And I will see, maybe I turn it around one more time and see if it works. But in the meanwhile, I'm also going to move uh, Diana's home here. So I can show you the final result with both homes in place. So yeah, let me just do that quickly and I will see and experiment a bit more with the garden. Because if I can't just walk normal in here, then it means that Judy won't be able to get in here unless he sits down on the chair like that. Or on the pillow like this so that's a kind of a bit boring I of course want her to be able to sit in a moon chair so yeah let me just experiment a bit, bit with that and finish up Diana's place here as well yeah and here we are already at the last update and it seems like Judy already likes her new area she uh, has been standing here for a little while looking at the flowers and at the butterflies, so yeah, I think that is mission accomplished. I also moved Diana's home, of course. It's still exactly the same as the last time, so if you are wondering which items I used, I recommend you watch that video as well. She is hiding inside at the moment, so yeah. This is kind of the end result. I did, of course, uh, or I ended up changing Judy's uh, garden one more time, but this way she can get to all the items besides that last pillow, but I don't really mind that. So yeah, she can actually use her own moon chair and uh, sit here and relax and look at the nice view of the butterflies or whatever. And then of course I'm really happy how Pico's little memorial ended up looking as well. It's really nice hidden, you can't really spot it from here. I mean, it is there if you know it, where to look, but yeah, I do think it is exactly how I want it to be. So yeah, that is it for today's designs, I think. And I hope, of course, that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, of course. And if you don't want to miss out on any future parts, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. Or you can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram. For now, thank you so much for watching and I do hope I see you next time. Bye bye!